G'day everyone, this is Alex from Trade Mate Sports and Odds Hero, and today I'll be taking you through video four in our series of people who got rich from sports betting. Today we'll be talking about a man named Billy Walters, who is known by odds makers around Nevada as a great white shark, the most feared and dangerous sports better in the world. For four decades, Walters amassed hundreds of millions of dollars from sports betting, mostly on American football and basketball. But before I go through the life of Walters, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get a notification next time we post a video in this series. It is a scam when you don't allow everyone to operate on fair terms. We are the Robin Hoods of sports betting. We take something back from the rich bookies and enable our customers to beat them instead. Billy simply loves betting. One time he won $400,000 on a hole in golf and $1 million on a round. His story is quite incredible when you take into account that his family was dirt poor and his mother was an alcoholic. Billy's dad was actually a professional poker player and his uncle a professional better. So it was no real surprise that at the age of nine, he made his first proper bet. Six years later and at the age of 15, Billy Walters won $5,000 playing pool. But he wasn't always a winner, recounting at least 15 times where he came home to tell one of his previous wives they'd have to move out after losing his home on a bet. His second wife also ended up leaving him for his excessive gambling. If only she knew what would happen next. At the age of 25, Walters estimated that he'd lost $50,000, prompting a move to Kentucky, where he started his own car dealership and bookmaking services, which was and still is illegal in Kentucky. He was fined $1,000 for his illegal betting activities, so he decided to leave Kentucky and start what would finally be some success in the betting world. Surprise, surprise, he moved to Las Vegas, starting his own betting syndicate on the side, known as ACME Group Trading. His information came from mathematicians who are experts in analysing the sports he's betting on. For example, he had a mathematician on the East Coast known as The Reader, who would scan websites, blogs, newspapers, Twitter for information, and then that data would be plugged into a system. All this data came together with the assistance of a few algorithms and probability theories, eventually spitting out a line for the two teams. So similar to the Trademate Sports value betting software, Walters' approach to betting was completely based on mathematical and statistical principles. Once his algorithms produced a line on a game, he then hammered the line to where he wanted it to go, placing bets of $75,000 on one team to move the line one way, just so he can smash the other team's line with a bet of $250,000. Walters also used anonymous people, one of them referred to as Wolfman, to place his bets for him. It has also been rumoured that some of these bet places were celebrities like Bruce Willis, Floyd Mayweather, and Ashton Kutcher. Billy also had connections with several important college coaches to which he relied on for information. Most days, he normally had $2 million at risk, which sounds ludicrous, but over four decades of sports betting, he only had one losing year. He averaged a profit of $15 million every year, which led to a number of lawsuits against him. Great speculation surrounded Billy's success, and from the mid-1980s until 2002, he and some of his associates faced several indictments for money laundering, conspiracy, and illegal transmission of wagering information. Walters and his co-defendants were acquitted of all of the above. On top of his legal issues, Billy's own life was threatened at one point by a mobster known as the Ant. Upon finding out about this, Billy fled Nevada and he only returned once he found out that the ant had actually died. But his troubles with the law finally caught up to him when in 2014, he faced fresh allegations of insider trading, featuring golfer Phil Mickelson and leading to a five year prison sentence in 2017. Long story short, the FBI found a relationship between Dean Foods chairman, Thomas Davis and Billy Walters, who Walters had shares in. More so, Mickelson was in serious debt to Walters after a series of losing bets. The allegations were that Walters gave Mickelson insider knowledge on Dean Food stocks, 
and a way of making a quick profit to pay him back, to which he did after the shares skyrocketed. Thomas Davis pleaded guilty to the charge in exchange for a two-year prison sentence, even though for the 21 months previous, Davis had maintained his innocence in interviews and in sworn testimony, saying that he had never tipped Walters. From 2017 to 2020, Walters resided in a white-collar prison in Florida, stating that his gambling career was over after making an estimated profit of $200 million from betting. In early May of 2020, Walters was released from prison into home confinement, which is not too dissimilar to what everyone else is doing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, if you want to become the next Billy Walters, but stay out of prison, make sure you check out the TradeMate Sports value betting software. It won't make you a millionaire overnight, but it will certainly help you beat the bookmakers. Thanks for watching our video on Billy Walters. Please make sure once again that you subscribe to our channel, like this video and click the notification bell so you get a notification next time we post a video in this series. Also, make sure you check out the description where I will post a link to the written version of our article on Billy Walters. Cheers, guys.